This video is going to cover Module 6, Homework 2 Notes, which is radical equations. So the first equation asks us to solve the square root of 2x equals 2. So, working from the outside in to get x equals the x by itself. So I want to get rid of this, this radical, this square root. So the opposite of square root is squaring. Just like adding and subtracting, they are opposite functions, they cancel each other out. Square root and squaring are opposite, they cancel each other out. So we are left over with 2x equals 2 squared, so 2 times 2, which is 4. Now getting x by itself, we can divide both sides by 2. And we are left over with x equals 2. So for these, we have to go through and check our work, and I'll show you why in one second. So the square root of 2 times x, we got 2 is x, so plugging in 2 for x equals 2. The square root 2 times 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So 2 equals 2 is true. That will be our final answer. Same thing for the next one. It asks us to solve the square root of x minus 11 equals 2. Getting rid of that square root, we are going to square both sides. So that way the square and the square root cancel each other out. We're left with x minus 11 equals 2 squared, which is 4. Adding 11 to both sides to get x by itself, we are left with x equals 15. So again, whenever we have radical equations, we have sometimes whenever it's undefined. Again, um, we'll come back to that in just a second. So let's plug it in to check to make sure it's defined, to make, check to make sure it works. We have the square root. Our x value was 15, so 15 minus 11 equals 2. 15 minus 11 will give us 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so 2 equals 2, that's true. X equals 15 is our answer that worked. Next example, solving the square root of 5x equals negative 25. Again, in order to get rid of the square root, we are going to square both sides. So that way, the square and the square root cancels each other out. So we're left with 5x equals negative 25 squared. So negative 25 times negative 25 is 625. Dividing by 5 to get x by itself, we are left over with x equals 125. So again, plugging this back in to check to see if it works. The square root of 5 times x, which we got 125, equals negative 25. 5 times 125 will give us 625. The square root of 625 in our calculator, the square root is right here above x squared. It's in light blue, so we have to hit our second light blue button first. And then that square root of 625 equals 25. But 25 does not equal negative 25. So x equals 125 did not work. So there is no solution. So we got a solution. We got a proposed solution that doesn't actually work in the original equation. So it's called an extraneous solution. We got an answer, but it didn't really work. So our answer is extraneous. So no solution or extraneous solution. So that's why we have to check to make sure that these work, to make sure that our answer is not extraneous. Next example. Solving the square root of 5x minus 6 minus 3 equals 0. So working from the outside in, the first thing that we have to get rid of is this negative 3. It's the furthest thing away from x. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. We are left over with the square root of 5x minus 6 equals 0 plus 3, which is going to give us 3. Getting rid of that square root, the opposite of a square root is squaring, so we're going to square both sides. That way the square and the square root cancel each other out. We're left over with 5x minus 6 equals 3 squared, which is 9. Adding 6 to both sides, we are left over with 5x equals 15. Lastly, getting x by itself, we are going to divide both sides by 5. 
So our proposed solution, what we think is supposed to work, is x equals 3. Again, we have to plug this in to check to make sure it works. So the square root of 5, our x value was 3. So order of operations, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 6 is 9. So the square root of 9 minus 3 equals 0. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So 0 equals 0. That works. x equals 3 is our answer. Next example, solving the cubed root of 30x equals negative 5. So just like the opposite of a square root is squaring both sides, the opposite of cubed root is cubing both sides, raising both sides to the third power. So that way the cubed root and the cubed cancel each other out. We are left over with 30x. So we have uh, negative 5 cubed. So negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. So we're going to put in parentheses negative 5 to the power of 3 equals negative 125. Dividing both sides by 30 to get x by itself. So we had x, uh, negative 5 cubed was negative 125. Dividing it by 30. Oh, that gave me with an ugly decimal. So I can turn this ugly decimal into a fraction. Up here above the PRB button it says F to D, so fraction to decimal. Again, it's in light blue, so we need to hit the second light blue button first. It tells me that we're doing the second button. And then hitting this PRB F to D button. It's taking my answer and turning it from a fraction to a decimal or vice versa. That'll give me negative 4 and 1 16th. I don't want my answer to be a mixed number. I want it to be an improper fraction. So then right below it says an improper fraction to a mixed number. So second, hitting this button right below it, pressing enter, boom, that'll give us negative 25 over 6 as our final answer. So x equals negative 125 over 30, which we simplify down to negative 25 over 6 as our final answer. If you were to do this by hand, and notice they both have a 5 in common, so we can divide a top out divide a 5 out of the top of the bottom, just like a GCF, and that would also leave us with a negative 25 over 6. Before we box it in, we need to make sure that it worked, so go ahead and check it. So the cubed root of 30 times negative 25 over 6 equals negative 5. 30 divided by 6 can be simplified down to 5. So the cubed root of 5 times negative 25 will give us negative 125. Another way you can do that is just plug this straight to your calculator. 30 times negative 25 divided by 6. Boom, that will give us negative 125. Taking the cubed root. So above this, the care button, it gives us that root symbol. So I want to take the cubed root. So I have to type in 3 first to tell it the cubed root. And then second, the caret button, that will bring us to this symbol. So it'll say, okay, this is the cubed root of negative 125 equals negative 5. So negative 5 equals negative 5. That one worked. Negative 25 over 6 was our final answer for that problem. Last page for this notes section. Solving negative square root of 2x plus 4 equals negative 6. So the first thing we have to get rid of, the furthest thing away from x, is this plus 4. So we are going to subtract 4 from both sides. That will leave us with negative square root of 2x equals negative 10. Next, getting rid of this negative. This is a negative being multiplied to our square root. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 1. That will leave us with the square root of 2x equals positive 10. Getting rid of the square of the square root. The opposite of square root is squaring. So we're left over with 2x equals 10 squared, which is 100. And then lastly, dividing both sides by 2, we get x equals 50. We need to make sure this works, so we need to check our solution. 
We have negative square root of 2 times 50 plus 4 equals negative 6. 2 times 50 is 100. The square root of 100 is 10, so we have negative 10 plus 4 equals negative 6. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6, so that word negative 6 equals negative 6. So x equals 50 is our answer. In my math lab, by the way, you would just put in 50. Do not put in x equals. Last example for this note section, solving the fourth root of 5x plus 4 minus 2 equals 0. The first thing we want to get rid of is this minus 2. So we're going to add 2 to both sides. That'll leave us with the fourth root of 5x plus 4 equals 2. Getting rid of the fourth root. So the opposite of fourth root is raising both sides to the fourth power. So that way those cancel each other out. We are left with 5x plus 4 equals 2 to the fourth power. So 2 or carrot button, so 2 to the fourth power is 16. Subtracting 4 from both sides. So 5x equals 12. And then lastly, getting x by itself, we're going to divide both sides by 5. So x equals 12 over 5. Plugging this in to check our work. We get the fourth root of 5 times x, which is 12 over 5, plus 4 minus 2 equals 0. So we have 5 times in parentheses 12 divided by 5, exactly like we see it here is 12. So the fourth root, also those fives cancel each other out. The fourth root of 12 plus 4 minus 2 equals 0. The fourth root, 12 plus 4 is 16. The fourth root is 16. So in our calculator, again, we're going to use that root symbol. So we are going to type in 4. So second, care will give us that fourth root of 16 is 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. Yes, that works. 0 equals 0. So x equals 12 over 5 is our answer. Notice 12 over 5 cannot be simplified. There's nothing that 12 and 5 have in common. So this is the notes for Module 6, Homework 2.